Does a lot of big, big airs as well. Look at that perfect method air. We have a huge crowd in here today. And as you heard off Sasha Steinholz, the head judge of the World Cup of Skateboarding, it is going to be runs today. The, the skaters wanted runs. Why do you think that is, Scotty? I think with the audit jam, it can get a little bit lost here and there. So they've actually done it as five audited runs of 35 seconds. I think it gives the guys a bit more of a chance to uh, get their runs down. Not so much crazy time pressure. And look, it seems to be working really well. It's worked so well today. Sergio Ventura just went the whole time then. So that's what you want. You really want to get in this final, you want to get a run under your belt so then you can start pushing the limits a little that's it. more. Get that confidence up. Right now we've got Pat Noho. No stranger to a finals here at Vans Bolarama. Absolutely. Hopefully he's going to get right up in the top three today, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Nice lip slide by Noho. He's doing a kick turn over the waterfall into the deep end. Such a smooth style, Pat. Nice tail block as well. Good, good first run from Pat Noho. And now doing it, the Sydney local, Adam Luxford, 42 years of age. The only Aussie, might I add, in That's this it. Masters final. And he deserves to be in there. Always skates so fast, knows this ball like the back of his hand. High speed around the shallow end there. Big high speed, 50-50 around the big corner. Lux with it. Oh, he's just stepping off that backside air there. But he's got plenty of time for another couple of runs. One of the fastest skaters out there in the Masters. He gets around this ball. He's been skating it for years and years. That's it. Now, fairly new to the Masters scene is Brian Patch. He had a, he was on a hiatus for a little while, but he is back and ready to do it. One, two contests in the last month. He's on fire, Brian Patch. Definitely enjoying his summer holiday out here in Australia, taking out a few contests. Isn't he ever? Look at that 50-50 up. To the shallow end, slap Big body jar there. Body jar, body jar slapping that down. Nice Huge. front side there, just boning it right out. And then another front side there, just stepping off it, going into the shallow end there. That was Brian Patch. Now, absolute legend of skateboarding coming up next out of Campbell, California, at 49 years of age. The one and only Steve Caballero. Sponsored by Van Shoes, he said he's a little unwell. The preparation hasn't been quite what he wanted, but he said once he steps on that board in the finals, he just turns it on, and I guarantee he's going to do that today. An absolute professional on and off the board. Look at him working the shallow and the deep end, back to fourth. Frontside invert, one of the best frontside inverts in the business. I love that frontside invert. Getting a little feeble grind there, feeble grind around the corner. You know what I also love, Scotty? I love your outfit today, oh, too. I love yours. <laughs> you know why you love mine? Because it's your jacket. Yeah. All right, Steve Caballero right now. Lip slide. Lip slide. And that is time for Steve Caballero. First run in the Masters final. Smooth as you like. The great thing about this is Tony Hawk just high-fiving him right now. Uh, there's a lot of camaraderie between all of these guys. They've been skating together for a long time. And right now, coming out of Copenhagen, Denmark, the one and only Nicky Guerrero. He came first last year in the Masters at the Vans Bolarama. Look at that. Did a beautiful sad plant right there. And he's got so many tricks under his belt. Tuckney invert. Doing a little slash grind up into the shallow. We all love hanging out with Nicky and watching him skate. Super, super nice guy. Once he got around the corner, a nice little 50-50. Again, people just do little airs over into that shallow pocket. It's a hard place in this bowl to get right. Nice trail slide. Scotty, it's one of those places, and there he goes, the full, the full time again, Nicky Guerrero. It's one of those places straight over the Finos yeah, tiles over the Finos. where you can come unstuck and you, yeah. it, it's one of those things you don't really want to. It's, it's well, you're going to go straight to the flat. Yeah, absolutely. And for the first time at Ben's Bondo Bolarama, this is Tony Hawk. Dropping in straight to a backside air. Tony, 50-50. Frontside grind back into the deep end again with a lip slide. Look at him, he's going for that, it right that's now. That's how you do attack the invert right there. Straight into a Madonna as well. Tail slide around the tight corner. Carving around the shallow end. And he's got a board slide coming back. 
We've seen this run in the heats, but he's holding on to it. He wants something underneath his belt. Oh, that is Tony Hall. Just coming off. It's a solid run so far. He has got a big bag of tricks, let me tell you that. And uh, he just wanted a little warm-up run. Dust off the cobwebs That's and uh, get into it. You need to shake off those nerves and then it's time to turn it on. The guys have five runs out here today. Right now you're watching Eddie Elgato Elguera. One of the innovators of all skateboarding. Absolute legend. Just winding up some speed in the bowl. Big 5-0 grinder fakey. And an Elgarial right there. One of the tricks he invented. Into a back lip. Got a rock and roll. I think Eddie was one of uh, Eric Costin's favorite skateboarders yeah. growing up. <laughs> He's riding for Nike yeah. Yeah, with him as well, so pretty good. That's right. Now coming in again, second spot here, 43 years of age. Out on the deck, MC, this is Sergi Ventura. Front side air, off the hip, into the deep end. That is tough over that van sign right there on the corner. Big method there from Sergi. So solid on that. What's he got? Tweaking out that backside here. Frontside grind around the tight corner. I know we're right in the middle of Sergi jumps off, but I really want to give a big shout out to Vans for being a longtime supporter of the Vans Bolarama. Absolutely. Steve Van Doren is normally here. Big shout out to him as well. To Stephen Christie, thanks for all your support over the time. They're doing great things out there. We definitely want to thank all the crew of Red Bull for getting behind this as well. Pat Noah with a rock slider right through the tight corner into a backside ollie over the hip. Did you see that back foot nearly oh. come off there? There he that goes, is, up the oh, waterfall. Oh, that is a pretty big hit. These guys right, are right. not young out there. I'm telling you that right That's now. That's 49, he's gonna be 50 next year. And he just went for a front side grind to fakie up the waterfall into the shallow. All right, another guy who has been on the scene in Sydney for a long time, traveled the world, coming out of the Sutherland Shire. It is Adam Luxford, the only Australian in here. Look at him going for the 50-50. We've seen him go that right to the tight corner before as well. That's on 50-50 around the tight into a nice invert on the hip. Elliot coming off an Elliot 50-50. That was Adam Luxford, everybody. Have the you seen lines like it. that before, Scotty? Oh, I tell you, Lux, I tell you, next, Lux's next run, I reckon he's going to be throwing down even more. Right now, we've got Brian Patch coming in out of Huntington Beach, stalling that invert. Wow. Big judo edge, body jar. What else has Patch got? Frontside bone air right in front of the paparazzi wall there. And isn't Patch. there a lot of them this year? There really is. They Frontside really want to get five, some photos oh. of Steve Caballero. You see the way that he's popped that in off the corner as well. Nice front side ollie. This the, is this is more of the run that uh, Patch would want, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And it's also a front side invert just pulling that oh, in. He that did was, not care what that was like. He was just going to tuck that, going for a backside 360 to fakie and just stepping off. Crowd likes it. Man, the energy down here, Corbin, is amazing. We've got He's thousands not. and thousands of people in the stands, thousands of people on the grassy knoll. All here to watch these guys, and you are watching Steve Caballero, the one and only. Last year was 20 years of him and Vans. What a collaboration, and the what a... The best. Unbelievable. Crowd getting on an Elgarial there. Saw them at the uh, House of Vans in New York. They had yeah. a bunch of artists uh, uh, paint on Absolutely. the cab Customizing shoe. all the cabs. Damn, it was cool. Look at Steve. And he can always throw down in any contest. He's got himself through into the finals, and he's definitely going to be in the top places somewhere today. He is for sure. And that is That's time, time for Steve Cab. Steve Cab going for a cab. All right. All right, out of Copenhagen, Denmark, once again. He skates regularly with Rune Glifberg, and he is a legend. Doing it for Vans, Allison, Type S, 187 pads, and independent. This is Nikki Guerrero with a big Madonna. 
He won getting up a bit of speed. He won last year. Oh, oh getting the knee on. Wow. He's just coming off that front side air over the hip. All right, we are back. The guy, the first time that he's ever been in the contest. It's Mr. Tony Hawk straight into a 540. And the crowd is loving it. Wow, wow, wow. Front side, lip side. What has he got here in the back? Tuck me. Did you see that? He just said, hey, the hell with it. We're, I'm just going to come straight out of it, and I'm going to do it here for the Vans Bowlerama on ESPN. He's using that corner. That's what the judges want to see. Front side, blind. Unbelievable. Look at this run. Straight into a blunt fakie. Oh, <laughs> and the time. This is amazing. <laughs> this is what you get for 10 years of bowler All right, all right. The Birdman has thrown it down. We're going to see Steve Caballero. We're going to see Nicky Guerrero. These guys are going to turn it on right now. Well, right now, you're watching Eddie Elgato Elgato rock slide around the tight corner. Eddie's got a big bag of tricks. Big rock slider all the way around the long corner. Eddie going for a backside 5 is so Over tough here. to do that. And a frontside here back the other way into the, into the deep end. What a great guy. Always smiling, always down the contest here. Great to see him back on board. And that is time for Eddie Elgara. All the riders are stoked, the fans are stoked. What a great setup down here, Corbin. Back into it. Oh, it's amazing. And this finals time, this is why I love coming back for this contest. And Absolutely. I said to anyone who's never been here before, you get to that finals time, Sergi Ventura, you get to that finals time and you just want to be in the bowl with them. You yeah, want to dive over it. there. Sergi with a crooked cop. What else has he got? He can't have much time left. Going for Ali 50 50 to Decker. It scares oh, me oh every God. time he does that. I get scared. Backside lip slide as well. What a run from Sergio Ventura. Out right on the buzzer. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that scares Sometimes me. Sometimes that's all you can say is wow. He's a big favourite of mine, this guy. Coming out of Venice Beach. Smooth, smooth style. This is Pat Noho. He's in here. Coming off that in the air. Just got a little bit away from him. Once again, our local boy, the only Aussie left in the Masters here at the Vans Bowlerama. 10th anniversary, Adam Luxford just rolling into the bowl. Pumping some speed out of the shallow end. Big backside air. Tucking up over the Finos corner. Backside 50-50 as fast as you like. Another backside 50 around the tight corner. Sad plant on the inside of the deep end of the hip. Coming up the rough part of the waterfall right there. Oh, I love that. Little slasher. He's got a score for that one. Absolutely. Using all his tricks in there, going for it. Adam Luxford, the only Australian to make it in the muscle run. With Brian Patch. He's out there doing it for Etnies. 187 Pats. The Imperial Skateboards to Kind Bones lost an S1. Look at that. Oh, he's just, just coming off there. We are live on ESPN right now with a 10 Vans Ball Rubber. And we're back with Stevie Cab. Rock slide around the corner. Into a 50-50. Bravo. And up the waterfall into a feeble grind. So many tricks in Steve's bag. Nice invert. One of the guys that we've grown up watching skateboarding ever since we were kids. It's so good to see all these guys out here watching him in the flesh. This, this is his eighth year doing it down here in Bondi for so fans. Right. Eight out of the ten years. And that is time for Stevie Cab. 
The crowd loves him. They're right behind him straight away. And you can see by that response, they're, they're just as stoked as us to be watching Stevie Cat out there today. Sergi stoked for him, giving him a hug. Absolutely. And rolling in right now is Nicky Guerrero, the winner of last year's Vans Bolarama. He's got so many tricks. Nice eggplant there. Did a little tuck the invert, then straight into an eggplant. Oh, getting a little bit wide on his 50-50 through the corner. Oh, Rocket Air from Nicky Guerrero. 46 years of age with a layback, layback grind right there. You know, it's really exciting that these guys, and I think everyone's kind of turned up as well this year. Tony's arrived, Cab's in form. It, it kind of adds a new new little flavour to it. Absolutely, it changes the energy of all the guys skating. It pushes everyone. Here right he goes. Now we're back again. The backside ollie from Tony Hawk. Using the waterfall frontside grind into a lip slide. Backside air. Oh, into a McTwist. Had to wash off a little bit there. Holding on to it, it is still pretty slippery out there. Frontside tail side around the tight 90 degree corner into a backside Smith in the shallow end. Look what he's got here. Really trying to really wants to win, to win this. That's a tuck the invert to Fakey right there. And that's it. Solid that's, run that's by very Tony. Solid. These are the sort of runs that are going to fire everyone else up. We're going, we are going to go back to the top of the list again. <laughs> I like Steve Caballero and Tony just having a little laugh. I think they're saying, I think they were saying to each other, uh, I think we need to shorten the times here so we don't have to skate for as long. Uh, I think everyone's getting a little bit tired. The runs have already gone down to 35 seconds. You know what? It's been a really hot day here. It's not just the Masters, it's the pros as well. That's it. We are actually talking to Grosso earlier. He wanted the runs to be 10 seconds. Yeah, and, and he only had one heat. Imagine these guys. That was Eddie Elgato Elgera. 51 years of age out of Palm Desert, California. As right now, out on the deck, MC for most of the contests. As, oh, looks, let's, let's check out this. Scotty G ruling with the, with what was that? I'm not sure what I was ruling with. Maybe with the jacket. We missed that. Oh, Sorry, guys. Look at us. Scotty this is the 10th anniversary, Bondo Bottle Rummy. You've got to get dressed up. And right now, this is Sergi Ventura. It's a party. It is a party, everybody. Front side up the waterfall, doing a little grind. Oh, 50 50 oh, holding getting, on. Getting a bit wild there, Sergi. Sergi, solid run from Sergi. Right now, not wasting any time is Pat Noho. Riding for Adidas, independent 187 pads, Bones and Tupop. Pat organises one of the rad nights here at Bondi Bowlerama Week with the Love and Guts Art Show. Nice frontside front side ollie up the waterfall, into the shallow, into a decker. Smooth style of Pat Noho. A little lost in the short corner there. You know, sometimes I think these guys try and get their run. If they get their run, they're pretty happy with it. Maybe they just want to go a little higher, get a little bit, little bit more air, or maybe try one or two more spins or something like that, you know? There's so, there's so many different things they can do. Right, Adam Luxford right now, getting a huge backside air right there. And the amount of speed he gets out of that. Look at this huge 50-50. He's just dead grind all the way from the shallow end, right across the deep end, around the corner. That is a long, long way if you're watching this at home. Look at the lines he's got here, Adam Luxford. Unbelievable. Adam, that was a rad, rad run. The only Australian <laughs> in the contest in the Masters final, and they're all behind him here as well. For those of you who have just joined us on ESPN, this is the Vans Bolarama, and this is the Masters final. Oh, we just had Brian Patch stepping off a stale fish right there. Right now, we've got the crowd giving Patch a bit of love. Coming in next, he's already, a, he's already had a couple of solid runs. 
It is the one and only Steve Cab taking his time. And he can take as much time as he likes. As he said, he's had a little, uh, a little tough preparation before this. Not as, didn't go as well as he liked, but uh, he looks to be informed to me. And you know what Cab said before when he was on air, on the webcast, he said, he can turn it on when he wants and to. Look at that frontside invert. He can turn it on. He's already done an Algarial frontside invert in this run. A feeble going, coming out forwards around the tight corner. Backside 50 50. Big backside air. Oh my God. Steve Cab. This is going to be a very this tough. Is, this is what he needs for these finals. And that is time for Steve Caballero. And he finishes it off with a Caballero. <laughs> he knows it. Tony's over there clapping. Patch giving him a hug. And that's, that's one of the great things about this event, Corbin. And that's what these guys want, you know? They all want to win on doing the best runs they can exactly. possibly do. It's not about just getting through. It's like if you put down the run, everyone knows you deserve to exactly. win. Exactly. And they've all, they all skate together for long enough to know what everyone can do. And one of the most loved guys in this Masters competition, Nicky Guerrero. Look at that tail grab. We always love watching Nicky skate. What a smash. Oh, one footed invert right there. Backside 50 50 through the corner. And just stepping off a backside 50 50 in the shallow. And that will be time for Nicky Guerrero. Straight back into it is T, the Birdman, Mr. Tony Hawk. One of the best Madonnas right there. 50-50 in shallow end. Lip slide, tail slide around that tight corner. No problems whatsoever. He's got that on lock. Oh, into him, the twist on the face wall, just spitting out. He's had it before. He's throwing it down. The crowd are on their feet. They love it. This Masters final is really something else. Yes, that is it. He's just chucked his helmet. The guy in the yellow shirt in the crowd. One touch, one grab. He's taking it home. Brian Patch stepping up his front side 50 50 right around the corner. That is it. That, that was is a wrap. The Masters final right here. That is unbelievable. Tony Hawk on screen right now. Don't go anywhere. We're in the Vans Bolarama on ESPN, and we're back with the pro final next. Better every year. Isn't it what? I mean, right now, I'm going to throw down to Mitch Tomlinson. He's with Mr. Steve Caballero. It just keeps getting better and better, boys. Right now, I'm with legendary Steve Caballero. Steve, the first question I'm going to ask is, you've come to Bondi a bunch, and every time I see you here, you're so happy. And then you're signing autographs for kids that are just starting to skateboard, but then you turn around and you're signing autographs for guys that are 45 that have looked up to you forever. How is it being in a iconic skateboarder for so many generations. Well, you know, when I'm signing those autographs for the guys that are over 40, it's like I'm looking at that 12-year-old signing that autograph for, for the younger guy. It's like, it's so rad to see these old men get giddy like a kid, you know? And I, and I fan out as well, you know? I'm a fan of the sport and fan of other, all, other extreme sports, so I'm just a fan like just anybody else. Okay, so you said you weren't really feeling up to the event, but something happened, you turned on a switch and Bang, that was an amazing display of skateboarding. Yeah, normally back home, you know, when I know a competition is coming up, you know, my friends can, can see a difference in me. I turn the switch on where it's okay, it's competitive mode, let's do this. But this, you know, lead up to this trip, you know, there's been a lot of problems at home and things haven't been, you know, too, too, too uh, heartwarming, you know, and uh, my kids are, just got over chicken pox, my wife is sick. You know, I just really didn't feel like I should be here, you know, and uh, this morning I got a text from my lovely wife, Rachel, and uh, she said, kids are better, everything's good, I'm feeling great, go do your thing, and man, that just, it was this weight lifted off my shoulders, I was like, all right, man, it's on, let's flick the switch on. Well, we're <laughs> glad you did, and it's always such a blessing to have you here and come and skate at this event, but then, like, today we've got Tony Hawk, like, we've got Mike McGill sitting in the stands, oh, and for man. people like me and everyone here, like, to see nearly all the Bones Brigade here, it's its a blessing. It is a blessing, you know, and, and it's too bad that everyone didn't get to see Mike McGill skate this contest because 
man, he was ripping all week, and you know he fell and got got a concussion, got stitches, and I just feel so bad for him because he was he was charging it just like the young gun. So I just would have loved to see the fans watch Mike rip because. Uh, you, were, you would have been in for a show, for sure. Well, it was a show in the Masters final, that's for sure. Steve Caballero, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back after the break with plenty more action. Thank you. Felipe Fulguinho out of Florianapolis, Brazil, 19 years of age. Absolutely killed it through the... Backside air on the round. Oh. That was a rad run from Felipe. Who we got coming in next? We got Marillo Perez out of São Paulo, Brazil. What a Brazilian final we've got here. The Brazilians have been killing it. They dominated in action sports around the world, and look at them go for it here. And that method there from Marillo. High speed coming off that backside tail slide. Pedro Barras just clapping on his countrymen. That's it. This is it. This is we couldn't get a better final. There's a lot of weather as well. There's a light breeze. We've got cloud cover, cloud cover coming over, and it is on. And coming out of the UK right now, we've got Sam Beckett. Sam's been skating super good in all these bowl contests. Just stepping off there on his first run. Turn it on. They got five runs. The music has turned up. Jay Rogers in, and this is the pro finals here at the Vans Bolarama. Just, step, just stepping off that front rock there, Josh Rodriguez. The crowd is huge. One of the guys we think is in contention of taking home the title, it is Mr. Bucky Lasek. You just never know what you're gonna get with Bucky. Big, big, he'll be straight into a 540. <laughs> that flip. Hey, we that told side you. tail slide around the tight corner. He's just going for a run number one, just getting straight into it. You know what it looks rodeo like? Rodeo and just coming off that rodeo. It looks like when Bucky's skating, he's actually thinking of three tricks yeah. of what he's doing in front of him. It's like skateboarding chess. <laughs> Isn't it? Hey, the guy who was qualifying first all day until the eighth heat, it is Red Bull rider Alex Sagente. Massive rocket air. A frontside bonus actually hanging up a little bit there going into the shell. End. He doesn't care, he's Alex going for it. Backside five. Oh. Alex. That was insane. And right now, our number one qualifier in the fans, Bondi Bowl Rama, Florianapolis, Brazil, Pedro Barros. Backside 540. Are you kidding me? Oh. That was the biggest 540 I've ever seen done in this pool. Oh my god. We talk I can't about believe Pedro it. stepping it up when it comes to finals time. You know what? This Brazilian powerhouse is just unbelievable. Back to back. Indy oh. 5 as well. You know what? It doesn't matter if he lands down the transition. He's one of the only guys that I've seen in the world be able to pick up speed and get to the other wall and do an air. And that front blunt off the hip. skateboarding right here. This is Corey Janot, 14 years of age out of National City, California, with a perfect cattle aerial. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. First run, and he nails the whole thing with the biggest 540 I've ever seen. Corey with a massive frontside air on the face wall there. Smooth Smith grind around the shallow end, backside 5-0. Back Smith around the big corner. This kid has got so many Tommy great corner. tricks. Fakie invert as well. Doing a lot of older tricks and a lot of new tricks. Front rock slider, tail slide up the waterfall on the buzzer. That is time for Corey Janone. He's got to be happy with that run, Scotty. That's what he wants. This guy, one of your favourites out there, one of my favourites too. Absolutely, such a good style. Fast, powerful, <laughs> pop tart. The Brazilians see one of them going big and they just want to all do it. That energy has picked up around here in Bondi and this is exactly what happens. This is what happens and this is why this is one of the best contests in the world. Thousands of people looking over this bowl. Ali Elliot Lina there from Felipe Foguinho. Absolutely killing it out there. Nice. Oh my God. 
for a better finals and we're not even through the second runs yet. Pedro Barros just screaming for him. For his countrymen and right now also out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, that was Marilo Perez. He's still got another couple of runs to go. Absolutely killed it over in Wellington. Let me give you the rundown here. It is five runs these guys get. 35 seconds maximum they can go for in this. And there's eight riders in this pro final. It doesn't get any better than this on ESPN. Right this now. final is rock solid. We're watching Sam Becker do a tail grab 540. Earlier on, he did a kickflip. Melon as well. So many tricks here. That's how you do a lean air right there from Sam Beckett. Once he got around the tight corner, front side 5 0. Hey, no one is holding back, Scotty G. No Why one. Why would you? Have a look at that tail grab. Sam Beckett trying to pull that in from where he was is just unbelievable. <laughs> what a rad run. Hey, we've got J Rods dropping back in right now. Rodriguez doing that. He knows, this is one guy that knows how to throw down when he needs to. Oh, or, missing that kick, but still throw trying anything to... under when he needs to as Just well. chucking it under his feet. Once again, Bucky is in the bowl. We've got a 540 from Bucky right there. Oh my God. Oh, he's taking a bit of a hit on the chest there. Hopefully Bucky's all right. Four X Games medals last year at the ESPN X Games. No one could stop him on the vert ramp. He was unbelievable. And did you see that? He went from that 540 straight into that drifting air across the corner. Red Bull rider. <laughs> Alex Pinte with a Saran wrap into a front side only over into the shallow. Oh, uh, he's Alley 50 50. A bit of a changer of a run there. That's it. He needs to do that. He can't keep doing the same runs. Front side tail slide up into the shallow. Okay, here we go. He's going to want this fire. Backside 540. Alex Sorgente. He missed it before, and then he's got side. it. Feeble to fakey. Up the waterfall. Uh, Decker in the shallow end in that tight little pocket. Look at him. Hungry, hungry. And, and the time goes, and that is a flawless oh run. Alex, Alex Sorgente. Absolutely rolling it here. Hold, hold on, Scotty. Hold on. We can't say that was it because oh, no. this yeah, might be it right now. Pedro Barros, massive frontside air from wall to wall through the tight corner. Coming out of Brazil, riding for Vans, Shoes and Red Bull oh. Energy Drink. That was, only, that was only the second lot of runs here, Gordon. <laughs> I know. They've still got another three runs each. I've got another three runs to lose my voice. I can't wait. I know wherever we can find it. Right now we've got Corey Janot. 14 year old, look at that. Oh, just coming off that front side air. That was massive, way up over Sergi's head. All right, Scotty, so this is where the guys basically need to like rethink their game plan. If they want to try and take out one of those top three positions, they're going to need to really throw it down. Pedro, Felipe, Rocky, backside five. The Brazilians and Bucky seem to just have it on lock. Yeah, just turn it on when it's finals time. Pedro. Isn't this? Right now, Felipe is absolutely killing this bowl. So much speed, such a good style. Oh. All right, Murillo, he looks fired up here, Corbin. He is pumped. He is, he is. I'll tell you that right now. He missed that trick in his last run. It was only his second run. This is his third. He wants it. That's why. Oh, his back foot, his, his back foot just came off on the takeoff there. He and is, it sort of threw him out a little bit. He's not happy with that one at all. Uh, he'll come back though, don't you worry about that. Right now, Sam Beckett out of the UK. Doing it for fans in Oakley with a backside one foot tail grab. Sam skating a lot of vert down in San Diego recently. Oh, kick the body jar. Oh, he took it. Unbelievable. That is one of my favorite tricks. Absolutely. He took a decent hit there coming down. But don't Good think to he see hit his Sam. head. No. To, good to see Sam getting out of the bowl, feeling all right. All right, Jay Rogers back in. Solid couple of runs so far he's had in the final here at the Vans Bowlerama. We are live on ESPN for the first year ever. Stoked to be doing it here at the Vans Bowlerama.
10 years this event has been running and this year has been absolutely amazing. And this final is just Look blowing me away. J-Rod's just staying on for everything. Oh, yeah. so looks like Rebirth. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love that chick. Right Good on the buzz and he falls off. From Josh Rodriguez right there. And we're back again. Bucky Lessig. Okay, he, he got his run cut short before. He's going to really want to find that. Look at this. Look What's at this. Straight into that McTwist. Backside, Backside lip, lip slide. slide. Back Smith through the tight corner. Oh. Back to not you know quite what? getting that over the finish. It's going to be very dangerous if he gets one of those runs. Pedro's right. going to have to really watch out. He's not going to even have to step his game up. Absolutely. Right now, Alex Sorgente, huge rocket air. Absolutely huge. Frontside boneless over the finish, hip into the shallow. Using the whole bowl like a swimming pool, exactly what the judges want. 50 50 around the corner, taking it into Fakie. Half cap blunt to Fakie. Wow, look at this. Right, Cavalero. This is solid. Very solid. So 50 50. <laughs> he is really putting this run together. It's amazing how much he can get in in a 35 seconds. Some ran wrap. Look at that. And he knows. He knows. Alex Sogente, everyone. That run was absolutely rad. Dropping in right now. It's the Brazilian. Can someone take the title off him? Stalfish 540. Bigger than I, almost any other from today. I can't believe he just landed that right now. And then a backside five to back it up as well. Backside um, 50 50. What's he got around the corner? 50 50. Oh, indie, little indie bone air over into the shallow end. Down the waterfall with a Smith grind. Front side air. Boning it right out there. Big long Smith grind. Holding on that Smith grind. Wow, oh, smashing the truck down. And that's time. Pedro Burras, everybody. That was a run to be reckoned with. Wow. Oh, my. Scotty. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm blown away, Corbs. Look at the crowd, they love oh it. Oh my God. The, right now, we're back in with Corey Janot. He'll flip Indy. Backside five. Into another backside five and just coming off. Right now, second in the list out of Florianapolis, Brazil. 19 year old Felipe Forquinho. Felipe has been killing it all day. Massive frontside Ollie right there. Hey, you know what? This, this is, uh, this could be one of the contests where he places up there for That's sure. That's it. He's got another two runs to do it. Not quite grabbing that backside five there. I got this feeling Murillo is pretty fired up again. Yeah, if he, if he can hold on to one of his runs, look out. There we go. Nice crooked cop getting it up there. Back oh. tail over the waterfall down into the deep. I wonder what he's listening to there, Scotty. What do you think? Uh, probably some elevated tunes. I'm really not sure. <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> side 50 around the corner. Somehow I don't think so with that. No. Lean Beautiful lean air. Front side 50 50. You know what I like about? Corner. You know what I like about Murillo skating in this? He skates it like a swimming pool. He Absolutely. hits every single corner. Getting a bit wild on that front side 50 50. That's what he wanted. He needed one of those runs. Absolutely. It's a big confidence booster when that happens in the finals like this, for sure. Man, I know we keep saying it, but these judges have got their work cut out for them. There's no one mucking around in these finals. Least of all, Sam Beckett right now. Sam has been killing it all weekend down here. Frontside grind off the hip, off the Finos hip right there. Backside 50-50 through the tight corner. For the backside 50. Just stepping off there, that's Sam Beckett. Coming out from England. And then right now, 22-year-old out of Banning, California. Once again, we've got Josh Rodriguez. Josh has been absolutely smashing it. Massive frontside air. Huge frontside bonus from wall to wall through the tight corner. What else has he got? Oh, he was trying to hold on to that all the way down. Josh Rodriguez. Oh, here we go. I reckon it's time, Bucky. Bucky's pretty focused. Isn't he ever? Straight into a back tail over the waterfall. 
Gets straight to a 540, and he's made the eye of Fakie from wall to wall. Are you kidding? That's what Tony Hawk was talking about. That is one of the best tricks of the whole contest right With a now. a twist over the hip as well. Rodeo, this is the run from Bucky Lassick. If, anything, if anything's going to be Pedro, this could be it. Frontside invert. As we were saying before, they both skate so differently. Bucky's so technical. And I tell you, he is absolutely, absolutely killing it. Sweet frontside feeble. <laughs> that is, and that frontside feeble is hard enough. A switch frontside feeble. That was rad. And straight back into it, Alex Sorgente. Huge backside air. He was going to go for the rocket, but didn't quite get in there. This is by speed. 50-50 all the way around the long corner. Off the Finos hit. Ball skateboarding at its best. If you have just joined us, we are live on ESPN for the Vans Bowlerama 2014. It's the 10th anniversary, and we have Red Bull athlete Alex Sagente. Wow. Oh my God. He is bringing it home right now. And into a cab to finish it off. And once again, calls our number. <laughs> Nothing stopping Alex. His time's up. And our number one qualifier here at the 10th Vans Bondo Bolorama. This is Pedro Barros. Oh my God! He nearly put that thing back under his feet, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. That was that. Oh. And he's over at head height, and we're up way above the bowl. Alex Sagente and Pedro hugging it out over there. Right now, this is Corey Janot. He just did a heel flip indie straight to a 540. He's done a fakie invert as well. Front side rock slider around. Tail slide up the waterfall into the shallow. Rock slider back down over the waterfall. Corey skating really solidly right now. Perfect cab. Scotty Front side invert as well. Let me tell you. And he's, he's rolling out. <laughs> Scotty, let me tell you, this is the final run this for is, the pros. This is it. This is everyone's last run. It's the last time you'll see Felipe Borghino out of Florianapolis, Brazil. This is the last time oh. that they can shine. Unfortunately not making that judo air, but Felipe absolutely killed it on all of his runs. Murillo is dropping back in. Front side 50-50, straight up into the shallow end. With Good Murillo. We know that he can do it. He's turning it on for his last run. Big high speed, 50-50 around the long corner. Kick yeah, flipping. That kick flipping, he grabbed that kind of late. Backs up 50-50 around the tight corner. Oh, he he can't have Indy. much time left. Coming out of Brazil. Oh, backs up 50-50, revert, that is... That is right there, one of the gnarliest tricks. Trying to go back, uh, trying to go backside 270 into the bowl like that. He's going into level. a 12 deep, 12 foot deep concrete bowl. Sam Beckett coming out of Norfolk, England. Oh yeah, Sam wants it. Look at that speed that he's got. Big, big backside tail grab. Backside 50-50 through the tight corner. What's Sam winding up for here? A king flip body jar! He just did a kick flip body jar. Back tail up the waterfall into the shallow end. This is Sam Beckett, everyone. This is unbelievable, Scotty. This is what you need. Sam Beckett just coming off there. Solid, solid performance from Sam. Coming in for his last run, 22 years of age out of Bounding, California. This is Josh Rodriguez. Rad Stalefish just tweaking it out there. Big frontside bonus through the corner from wall to wall. What else has Josh got? It's a rad wrap, lean to tail. Is he kidding how big that thing was? That was unbelievable. Just taking his time, you know. Oh, wow. Rad frontside invert as well. Lots of tricks here. What's he got? What's he got? Backside air over the hip. Jay Raj, this is his last and, and that final. Was Josh Rodriguez. We are coming in, Corbin, to our last three runs in the Vans Ballrama right here. And this is one of the guys that we've been looking out for. It's Bucky Lasek. 
reverse at the moment, I think. Alex Sagente and Pedro Barros. What's he going to pull out of the bag Zero that he hasn't already? Oh, Bucky. Unfortunately, coming off that Frankie Five right there. That the is going to that is going to be a tough one for Buffy Lasek. I think he would have wanted to throw down just one more solid run there. Someone that's had four, pretty much four runs that have been amazing in a row is this kid, ready for Red Bull. I tell you, it's got to be so close between him and Pedro right now. Coming out of the USA. Oh. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his feet moving around then? Look at that judo air. Front side only up into the tight pocket off the Finos hip. Big, big Madonna from Alex Orgente. People going to fakey into a cab nose pick. Absolutely oh next God. level. Look at this kid go. He is on a ride. He's got to be listening to Metallica or something like that. Slayer. And that is time for Alex Sorgente. Oh my God. Absolutely unbelievable. All the way through the finals. Here it is right now, Scotty. The last run of the Vans Bolarama 2014. It is Pedro Get up Barros. Off your couch. This is Pedro Barros. Backside 540. Are you kidding me right now? He loves to put on a show, the Brazilian. Even if I thought he as well, how much can he throw down? I backside 50-50 through that well, tight corner. Backside lip side over the Finos here. Back Smith down over the waterfall into the deep, into a backside tail slide. Little floaty front side ollie. Oh. Backside tail slide, shove it. Everyone is on their feet here. Finals of the Vans Bolarama 10th anniversary. And I tell you what, Corbs, you don't get to see things like that too often. That is unbelievable. Oh, we've got someone in the bowl who's missing their clothes. <laughs> it's a, someone's having a little moody run there. It's the 10th anniversary. Let him go for it. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever was sitting right there. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Scotty, let's just let's just have a chat about what's just going on here. We've just had the Masters final go down. We've, we've just had, had the Pro Finals, one of the best Pro Finals I've seen here at Bondi in oh, 10 years. Let's take a look at it. The, some of the biggest 540s I've ever seen in my career here with the Bowler Armour which has been 10 years that was unbelievable and uh oh look what they are setting up right here corbin on the big round corner okay so i've let let's check out the highlights right now of all of the pro finals bucky absolutely amazing it's a great shot of that 540 there alex and jensei Wow, this little kid. Look at that, with that fist pump, he knew has, he'd done well. He's just... Pedro time. Massive that was absolutely huge from Pedro going all the way around the corner. Eggplant Reaver from Josh Rodriguez. Lips line Reaver from Josh Rodriguez as well. Back Smith through the tight corner from Bucky. And then, stale 540. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe it right now. I can't believe how Pedro holds on to some of those streaks, Scotty. It is unbelievable. These this highlights, I could just watch these all day long. Look at that, Indy, 540. This is the Vans Bolarama 2014, and we've just seen the Masters and the Pros go down. We've still got best trick to come, so don't go anywhere.